Hi, I'm Min Young Pang, and I'll talk about our new paper, Meta Explore, Exploratory Hierarchical Vision and Language Navigation Using Scene Optic Spectrum Grounding. This is a work with Jae Yan Jung, Min Su Kim, Yun Sun No, and Song Wing Oh. This is our agenda for today. So, what is VLN? In VLN, a person gives a natural language instruction to a robot, and the robot can perceive visual observations from the environment. The task of the robot is to follow the instruction and arrive at the goal location. Eventually, the ultimate goal of VLN is to make the agent follow the instruction in unseen environments. A classical challenge in VLN is that it is hard to recover mistaken actions. In this paper, we propose a hierarchical navigation method called MetaExplore, which uses an exploitation method called Local Goal Search with a novel semantic visual representation. Let's see how it works in overall. First, the instruction is given and the episode is initialized. The agent begins to explore the environment and constructs a topological map. After a few time steps, the agent finds that its current trajectory is not following the instruction. Then the agent starts to exploit and searches for a local goal from the unvisited but observable nodes. After moving toward the local goal, the agent restarts exploration. This process repeats until the agent arrives at the global goal. Hierarchical exploration has already been used in previous studies. The basic framework is that the high-level planner decides when to explore or exploit. If it is chosen from two options, the low-level planner chooses what actions to take. Note that we mainly focus on VLN in discrete environments, where each scene is described as a 3D navigation graph, so an action means moving from current node to a neighboring node. Let's see how existing hierarchical navigation methods work. The agent starts from the blue point, and it moves upward following the yellow path. At the last action, the agent makes a wrong decision. Prior work tackles the situation by using an exploitation method called backtracking, which returns the agent to the last successful state. However, the problem of traditional exploitation methods is that the agent has to re-explore visitor regions after backtracking to a previous state. This makes the agent perform unnecessary actions and the agent does not take any advantage of the map constructed during exploration. Therefore, our solution is to make the agent move to the frontier of the map instead of backtracking. Specifically, we choose a local goal from previously unvisited but observable states. By applying our idea, after the agent makes the wrong action, it moves to one of the blue nodes, which illustrate the unvisited and observable nodes. Additionally, if we choose a proper local goal by making use of the constructed map, the agent can get a chance to get closer to the global goal even during exploitation. We implement an end-to-end -end learnable network for hierarchical exploration. There are some features that come out from the language and visual encoders, and all these information are combined and passed through a cross-model transformer. The output is large HT, and we use this hidden state to select the navigation mode in high level and also choosing a specific action in the low level. Specifically, we have a mode selector and two navigation modules corresponding to exploration and exploitation. The mode selector receives hidden state HT and passes it through a feed-forward neural network to obtain a scalar value p-explore, which means the probability to explore. If p-explore is greater than or equal to 0.5, the exploration module is activated and outputs an action AT. If peak explore is less than 0.5, the exploitation module is activated. The agent searches for a local goal, and after it is chosen, we use a pass planning algorithm to move the agent toward the local goal, since we already have a topological map. Now, the most important part of our method is to choose which node as the local goal. Our criterion was to choose a node with the highest correspondence with the language instruction. Usually, optics tend to be important clues in language instructions, so we thought that we should utilize semantic information including objects by extracting spatial domain and spectral domain object features. 
The key idea of spectral domain object features is to know what objects are placed around each node at what frequencies. We propose a novel visual representation called Scene Object Spectrum, SOS. We calculate the SOS features by detecting objects in the panoramic image and performing category-wise 2D Fourier transform on the binary object masks. We also design a navigation score which measures the alignment of a trajectory and the language instruction. Here's a quick example. Suppose the yellow nodes Vt equals 1 and T equals 2 are the visited nodes and the agent has to find the local goal from node A and B. If we choose A, the trajectory to the local goal aligns better with the instruction than choosing B. When we calculate the navigation score, we obtain a higher score by choosing A. This means that A is a better local goal than B. We experimentally show that using spectral domain SOS features is more helpful than using spatial domain visual features for searching a local goal. We train and evaluate our method in three VLM benchmarks, R2R, Soon, and Reverie. In R2R, Meta Explore improves performance against hierarchical baselines, which are highlighted with gray color. The success rate increased by 16.4% and the success rated by past lengths, SBO, increased by 8.9%. We also evaluate in a recently proposed benchmark called Soon. In Soon, there wasn't any hierarchical baseline, so we compared with the flat state-of-the-art baseline. While Meta Explore underperform in Wall Scene House, it shows significant generalization performance in unseen houses. Compared to the state of the art method, Meta Explore enhances the success rate by 17.1% and the SPL by 20.6%. This image shows how the agent constructs a topological map during exploration. As the agent explores, the topological map is constructed as follows. This is a sample case of exploitation when the agent turned left while the goal wasn't right. When we measure the navigation score for each local goal candidate, the scores ranged from 0.05 to 0.22. The agent chose the node with the highest navigation score as the local goal and moved toward that node. In this scenario, we were able to find that the agent gets closer to the global goal even during exploitation. Lastly, we extend Meta Explore to image goal navigation tasks in continuous environments. We show that hierarchical exploration and SOS features are still effective in this setting. Continuous VLAN experiments are in the supplementary material. To conclude, these are the contributions of our paper. Thank you for listening and please feel free to ask any questions.